Welcome to Barbados Fertility Center's Intermuscular Injection Instruction. The intermuscular injection instruction you will be doing is for your progesterone in oil. This is for your luteal phase support of your cycle and is very important. You will need a 3ml syringe, a long green needle and a thinner bore needle for the injection but this is still an inch to an inch and a half because it needs to go into the muscle. You need your alcohol wipe. Your progesterone will come in two different formats. It will either come as a vial in which the progesterone is in here, or it will come in a multi-dose vial in which the progesterone has 10 doses in one vial. Before you start any injection, be sure to wash your hands, line up your supplies, and take your injection at the time that your coordinator has advised you. The dose of progesterone in oil you will be taking is 50 milligrams. Usually it comes in 50 milligrams per 1 ml or 1 cc. And you can see this is your 1 ml here on your syringe. If you're doing the multi-dose vial, uncap your needle, wipe the top of the rubber stopper always with your alcohol pad, draw in your 1 cc of air, push it through the center, push your air in, turn your needle upside down, so that the point is under the fluid line and draw up one mil of fluid. Pull out your needle. If you are doing the vial, some vials contain 50 milligrams and just one mil, but some have two mils in it. If it is two mils, you can draw up just one mil per day for the injection and find a sterile container and put the other mil in for the following day. You just break off the top, it's a really easy, push back, uncap your needle and draw up your one mil of progesterone. If you have been doing other injections, you'll see that this medication is a little bit thicker because it's oil, so it's normal for it to be a little bit slower to both draw up and to inject. Once you have your one mil in your syringe, you recap your needle, twist it off, and replace it with your smaller needle, which is the one for the actual injection. Okay, so you're gonna push your air out, tap it in case there's any air, and push your air out until you see this drop of medication at the needle tip. You're now ready to administer the intramuscular injection. To do the intramuscular injection, you're going to see that you divide the buttock in half long ways and in half horizontally. And this is the upper outer quadrant that you need to be doing it in. You do not want to do it too low where you might sit on that area and it would be painful. You don't want to do it too close to the spine. You want to be doing it in that nice fatty tissue area in the upper outer aspect of the quadrant of your buttock. This injection is best done by your partner, friend, local nurse. You can do it yourself if you wish, but it is best to try and get somebody to help you do this intramuscular injection. When you're ready to do the injection, uncap your needle and you're going to hold it like a little dart or a pen. Wipe the area with the alcohol wipe and then you're going to pinch a nice firm bit of tissue. When you pinch the skin, you're going to nice dart in. Hold your needle at the colored site. And then with your other hand, you pull back ever so slightly on the plunger. When you pull back on the plunger, you'll see a little air bubble. You know you're in the muscle and you just push on the plunger nice and firmly until all that medication is injected and you pull your needle out. Give it a rub afterwards as it helps distribute the oil through the muscle. If on the rare occasion that you would pull back the needle and you would see a little flash of blood there, you would pull out the needle, give it a bit of pressure, twist your needle off, put on a fresh needle and then re-inject using the same technique into an area close by. In all my years of doing intramuscular injections, I've never hit a blood vessel in the muscle so please don't worry about it. It is no harm, it is no damage to you. It is just that we don't want the medication to go into the blood vessel, it works too fast. So again, 
dart, hold, pull back on your plunger till you see that little air bubble and then push on the plunger until that medication is injected. Remember with the thinner bore needle with the oil, it is a little bit harder, so to give it a good firm press and then pull your needle out and give it a rub. As I said, massage the oil through the uh, muscle and you will be repeating this injection every day.